Hi there, and welcome to this video tutorial on 3D Studio Max 2014. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create volume lights very easily. So first off, I'm going to create a simple scene. I'm going to go to the uh, Geometry tab, click on Standard Primitives, and I'm just going to create this uh, simple plane, and I'm going to make a teapot on top of it. I'm going to rotate a little bit. Move it backwards. There we go. And now let's go to the Lights tab or Lights button and click on Standard in the drop down list. And we're going to make a target spotlight. I'm going to move the light itself a little bit higher so that we have this nice angle downwards onto our teapot. And let's just see how that looks when we press the Render button. Okay, that's how it looks. Perfect. Now let's go to the Modify tab and make sure you, that you have your light selected and the first thing that you want to do is go to General Parameters and then we have this Shadow option here, the Shadow field and click on Shadows On. And As you can see the uh, rent or the teapot is, is already showing its shadows. Perfect. So if we would render again, let's just see what happens. Perfect. We have these lovely shadows. Now we want to add some sort of volume light and we can do that very easily by going to the Atmosphere and Effects tab, clicking on Add and then we get this little menu and if we click on Volume Light just press OK and now we have this volume light added and just to get a quick look and feel on how this looks like let's press the Render button again. We have these beautiful God Rays already coming off from it and we have a very bright god ray or volume light or as it's called a volumetric light scattering effect but we need to change it quite a bit because it doesn't look that good so I'm just gonna select the volume light and I'm gonna press setup now here we get this lovely menu called environments and effects and the first thing that I want to show you here is this button inside the exposure control called render preview and if I do that I get the exact same effect as when I press the render production button but only in a very tiny window so it's a very uh, quick render and it's really small so it's you get that within a couple of seconds so what I first want to do is I want to lower the density and I can do that inside the volume light parameters tab I'm gonna make them quite a little bit lower I'm also gonna change the fog color to something something else just to get a cooler effect maybe orange or something like that okay well that sounds about right let's just do the render preview again yeah that looks nice okay I'm gonna close the environment and effects window I'm gonna press the render production button again there we go I think that lo looks a lot better than uh, the previous white light now something that I don't like is this really sharp angle here I want some sort of fade in from this uh, well from this uh, 3d volume light and I also want to have some sort of fade in fade out on the end of our light so that's the next thing that we're gonna do we can do that by if you have the light still selected by going to intensity color and attenuation so what we need to do is first off we're gonna use the near attenuation not only do we want to use it we also want to show it and then we can see these little blue uh, circles here and they represent the sort of well the beginners area fade in and fade out part and that's the area where it gets uh, well where the fade in starts and where it's at full brightness or full um, yeah full brightness or full density better said so if I for instance move the n value a little bit higher you can see that this fade in value to its full density uh, well, is at a better angle and I think the start value in this case should also be a little bit higher look at that so let's just see how that looks if we press the render button again there we go we now have this lovely uh, cone starting a little bit later inside the volume light instead of this really sharp edge and we can of course do the exact same thing for the far attenuation I don't want the light to be as large as I created it with this ending point 
So I'm just going to set the end attenuation or the bar attenuation a lot lower. If I press render again, we get this lovely effect. I'm just going to rotate the light a little bit, create this nice looking scene. There we go. Might not really showing off the attenuations here, so I'm just going to do this. There we go, that looks amazing. Okay, well, that contains this tutorial on creating volume lights in 3D Studio Max. I hope you liked it, and I see you around in the next video tutorial.